Thank you for joining our webinar, Manufacturing 4.0, Acumetica Meet uh, B. B is maintenance assets, facility energy, energy and management, uh, energy management software of BIM3 International. Thank you for joining. Thank you for your time. Uh, today, uh, we have a, a panel of speakers. Uh, we have uh, Roger Hoyt from uh, Integrated Data Technology, uh, based in New York. Uh, also an uh, Acumetica uh, solution partner. Also we have ETI Gonzalez, a precious software engineer of uh, Beam3 International. Uh, and we'll be talking about manufacturing 4.0, digital transformation, uh, uh, maintenance and asset management, and how Beam and Acumetica works together. So we'll also uh, show you and tell you how it works. Uh, and we'll also address your questions uh, at the end of the uh, webinar, we have a Q&A session. Uh, so uh, please keep your microphones muted. And if you have any questions during the webinar, please type your questions in the chat box. And we will address your questions at the end of uh, the webinar during the Q&A uh, session. Uh, my name is Kevin Levejoglu. I'm the Managing Director of Industry International. And we'll be starting with a very brief uh, company uh, presentation, very brief. and we'll continue with uh, Roger Hoyt and uh, his uh, presentation and uh, demonstration session, uh, which will be uh, continued uh, by um, Pierre Gonzalez uh, to talk about Acumetica and uh, Beam integration. Uh, uh, Beam 3 International is an enterprise software maker since uh, 1998, uh, based in New York. And as a company, we believe in uh, simplicity as a digital transformation enabler. We help companies simplify their processes. So that's what we believe in, and that's how we position our product. We are a group of companies. Uh, our software development center and our parent company is based in Istanbul metro area, where the yellow dot is. We have another company called Dimster Europe for our European uh, sales operations, and Dimster International is based in New York. Uh, as a group, uh, Dimster is about 150 people. Most of us are uh, software engineers. Uh, and Dimster is a, a certified SAP vendor, Microsoft Gold Partner, and Acumetica independent software vendor. Uh, we are very focused on what we uh, basically develop in terms of our products. We are very focused. We have EBA. Uh, EBA is our workflow, records, and document management software. It's a platform, in fact. Uh, Beam is an asset maintenance, facility, and energy management software. Uh, that we'll talk more about it today. Uh, QDMS is a, a quality risk and uh, and compliance management software, and Ensemble is a business process management management software. Uh, so in the next slide, we'll see how we position our product. In a sense, so Ensemble is a, a managerial tool with performance management and balanced scorecard capability. EBA with the workflow and records management, Beam with asset and maintenance management. QDMS with quality, risk, and compliance management, they automate processes. All of our products, they can work standalone. They can be integrated with each other. They can be integrated with any ERP, any CRM platform available in the marketplace. Uh, and they work on cloud, they work on-premise servers, and there is mobile app available for all of our products. Uh, uh, let me give you some information about about our uh, deployment history a little bit. Uh, these figures show uh, by the end of last year how many deployments we have done. Uh, uh, as seen uh, on the screen right now, it also shows more or less how many clients that we have globally. So you can get the idea. And as you see, we have done many different deployments and we are very experienced in uh, what we do. Uh, I also would like to talk about a little bit about our uh, clientele. Um, these are some of our references available on the enterprise side of the market. Uh, 3M is one of our clients using uh, EBA, our workflow engine. United Nations is one of our uh, references using our uh, record cycle management uh, uh, platform. EBA, Arcelad Movie Theaters is, is, a, is a movie theater chain based in uh, California, one of our references. We have Ford and Renault Nissan Alliance uh, using EBA for their internal uh, operations. Uh, we have AstraZeneca in pharmaceutical industry, Bridgestone in Dubai and in uh, Turkey, some of our references. Also, also we have Societe General in, in finance, in banking industry. Uh, we have more references available on our website. Um, uh, we also uh, 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 work with uh, mid-market uh, companies. 
So we have a variety of uh, clientele clients and references available. So in a nutshell, at Beams International, that's who we are and what we do. Uh, and uh, now I'd like to turn it to uh, Roger Hoyt from Integrated Data Technologies uh, so that uh, he can uh, present uh, his company and uh, also uh, talks about, he can also talk about digital transformation, manufacturing form for, you know, and Acumetica. Integrated Data Technologies is based in New York, and they are also a solution partner of Beamster International and also um, Acumetica solution partner. Um, Roger, would you like to uh, take it from you? Sure, thank you, Kevin. Uh, thanks to everyone for joining us on this webinar on Manufacturing 4.0, Acumatica Mid Beam. Uh, a bit about integrated data. We are in business now for over 30 years. We started back in 1988 with the sole premise of consulting to small and medium-sized enterprises, bringing solutions that fit. Uh, with that, what I would like to say is that our core co capabilities are in the field of ERP consulting implementation, integration, and support services. In recent years, we have been tasked with helping companies in their digital transformation. By this, I mean digital transformation for companies now are that they're looking for that sole solution that would integrate all their product line, whether it's uh, their asset management, their distribution, their shipping, their shop floor software. What they're looking for now is a sole single point in which they can tap into information from each and every one of those systems and record the financial part into the ERP, but yet having a tap back to in their shop floor, so to say. Uh, next slide, please. Some of our solution partners are listed here. Like Kevin said, we are Acumatica solution partner. We are also a Binza solution partner. And we also support other solutions that are out there. And our main focus again is to get those solutions all integrated into one silo. So there's one place of truth when you look at your company. Next. The screen actually shows some of our customers. We, it shows uh, a variety of different sectors in which those customers play in whether they're manufacturing, pharmaceuticals, field services, you know, it just shows the broad depth in which we consult in. Um, next slide, please. Now to the topic of the hand, Acumatica. I want to start with Acumatica because it's probably one of the newest software. It's only been around about 10 years in offering, and it was built with a cloud in mind, meaning that from the start, it was not based on any legacy platform or anything. It was built on cloud technology so that, A, that you can access whatever information you need from any device, anywhere. All you need is an internet connection on a browser. Next slide, please. Like I just said, it's 100% uh, browser enabled. The, the look and feel of Acumatica remains the same regardless of what browser you launch it from. And it's a fully complemented ERP, which can be centrally managed and accessible anywhere. With Acumatica, we give the choice to the client. In other words, if you want to host it in a public cloud environment such as Amazon or Azure, you can do that. You can also bring it 
into a data center. If you have your own data center, you could actually employ, uh, deploy it there, or you could bring it in-house if you have the necessary resources to do that. It's totally up to the customer to decide how they want to run their ERP, which makes it flexible. And one of the things I could tell you, you can move back and forth between the deployment plans, whether you have it in-house and then suddenly you need to want it out into public cloud, you can do that with Acumatica. The other thing about Acumatica, which is real good, it's that it's not based on user license. When you purchase a Acumatica license, you, it's company-wide, meaning that any person or any user you can set up. There's no need to go and purchase new license for that user. So you can scale up and scale down as the need may be, which makes it a real nice thing. The, the, the part that you have to uh, work out is from the start, well, what are your resources going to be like? Are you really heavy? Then you may want to go up to the highest scale of Acumatica. If you're just dealing with regular transactions, not too heavy on that, then you can stay. So it's not based on user, it's based on the number of transactions that you are actually inputting. Next slide, please. So a bit about Acumatica. Uh, it has been awarded many of the top awards over the past three years, such as the Cody Award, top mid-market vendor executive award, it's the CRN program award, and many more. Um, it's one of the most talked about mid-market products right now in, in the landscape. Next, please. So, like I mentioned, the deployment is based on customer needs. You know, again, from a SaaS solution, you can run it out of Amazon Cloud. You can license it so that you can run it on-premise. You can license it in a data center if you use such. And all of this lends to the, the, the idea that you, the customer, are in control. It's on your terms just where you want it. A bit more about Acumatica, it fits into the whole realm of manufacturing 4.0. It's a cloud-based application with APIs readily available to any customer if they need to integrate other products. In manufacturing 4.0, as you would know, you would have many different aspects. You could have IoT, you could have sensors, you could have, uh, in this case, asset management programs. All of that can be integrated with Acumatica due to how it's built. It's built for integration. Next, please. Again, here are some of what some of the leading analysts around the country has said about Acumatica. Uh, IDC, Forrester, Menduras, uh, Tech Evaluation, all have scored Acumatica to the, with very, very high grades due to the, the main fact that it's open integration, it's built on today's technology, and it embraces Manufacturing 4.0, 100%. Next, please. Now, we're going to just give you a, a quick overview of Acumatica. So typical of any application, you would log in. The first screen you will see is dashboards, and you, that's all configurable based on it. it Acumatica also allows you to have different modules, as you can see, and functionality based on what those modules pertain to.
the deployment options here are SaaS, as, as I previously said, uh, you can move that application to a hosting if you have that, or you could decide to use the traditional license, all still being accessible via a web browser, tablet, or a mobile device. The main thing here is that you have a internet connection. It's fully scalable, like I said, and it's this screen actually shows the mobile screen. Branches in Acumatica is a huge thing in that you can have multiple branches around in different locations, all operating on the same database, so to speak. It Acumatica works with any sector. As you can see, it involves customer management. So your sales force, your manufacturing, the financial arm of it. And it's all of these modules are web enabled. So there's nothing that you need to worry about. It's completely configurable. You can move around fields to, uh, that could be set per user. So if a user doesn't need to see a particular field in their view, they can take it out and the application still will work. Notes are prevalent throughout the whole application. So you can put it at the document level or at the line level. There is a wiki in which you can actually go in and create your own help or procedures that can be distributed to users out there. Now, with that said, because Acumatica is this wholesome application that allows integration it embraces manufacturing 4.0. The screen actually shows some of the, in, the integrations that are done and are native. So you have Acumatica, you can go off to Office 365, you can use Smart Sheets or DocuSign and all without retyping the same information twice. One of the biggest things in ERP, the biggest complaints I have had in my 30 years of doing this is that people tend to have different versions of the truth, one in their spreadsheet, one in their MES program, and one in their ERP, and they're never the same. But with a fully integrated system like Acumatica, you could have one place of truth. Therefore, if the product is named product one, two, three, it's product one, two, three irregardless as to where it is. So as you can see here, this is just a partial list of some of the integration. There are much more integrations out there with Acumatica. And what we are pleased to announce today, next slide, Beam, being a product that now is fully integrated, fully certified by Acumatica to the Lenis scope. With that, I would like to pass the presentation on to Ikiar to do the Beam presentation and to get into the actual integration. Thank you. Thank you, Roger. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just show you a few slides on, on Beam and especially on the Acumatica integration. I'm going to show you a video that shows literally how we can integrate different aspects of Acumatica and instead of uh, having to enter the information twice, just like Roger was mentioning, you can literally just forget about it and any changes that go on on Acumatica are going to be uh, seen also on Beam. So just so you get an idea of the, the modules that are available on Beam, I have here the slide that shows that we have what we call the, the basic modules, the standard package, which includes the asset maintenance, uh, inventory, and personnel management modules. And then we also have optional modules, like for example, for 
uh, purchasing management, for energy management, services, or facility management. Obviously, BEAM as an enterprise asset and maintenance management system is focused on the uh, modules on the left side. So uh, we take a lot of um, time you know, to, to create these products to add as much functionality as needed. And for example, within the maintenance management module, we can take care of three different types of maintenance operations. They can be periodic, they can be predictive, they can be corrective actions. Okay. So all of these modules are going to be fully accessible on Beam. And for example, if we are um, using Acumatica 2, then we'll be able to pick up all the assets from Acumatica. So that's going to be the master data. We don't have to enter anything new. We just uh, we can make any changes on Beam and then you know report back to Acumatica. And just so you get an idea of some of the features that Beam provides, is that it is a modular product. So for example, if a company is only interested in the asset and maintenance part of it, then they can get those two modules and it's gonna be much more affordable for them. Then we can also grow with a company. So uh, sometimes we start, uh, we see clients who start with maybe two or three modules and then uh, in the coming years, they start adding more functionality to the system. And one of the uh, main features on Beam is that it has a workflow management system uh, running underneath and that allows us to create our own workflows. So we, we work with many different industries and for example, uh, every client is different. And if you have a workflow in place, like for example, um, you need a, a three step, uh, three steps of approvals, right? Before we can uh, start working on a maintenance operation, then what you have to do is design that workflow so that maybe uh, someone starts that maintenance operation then someone else review it then someone else uh, approves that. And then all of those steps are going to be um, just put in place uh, by us, and you can you can directly manage all of those approvals either from the app or, or from the web browser. We can also create reports. Uh, we offer over ten thousand types of reports uh, that are predefined in the system, and we can also create more as needed. And we can also automate when we're going to be getting those reports. So not only we're not going to have someone creating all of those Excel reports, for example, we're also going to be able to get them uh, in PDF, for example, in our inbox. And at the bottom of the slide, you can see the feedback that we have received from current clients. Uh, they were able to reduce the maintenance costs by 15, 20%, and some of them have been able to reduce the number of failures that they get uh, even by, by 80%. So just so you get an idea of how the, the integration works, um, you see here that in the phase one of the integration, we have uh, incorporated the, the asset tree functionality. For example, um, whenever there is a new asset on Acumatica, then we see it on Beam 2 and the other way around. We can also create a work request and uh, you know pick up all of that information. Maybe if Acumatica registers a value that exceeds a certain tolerance, then uh, a web service can pick up that information and we can create a work request automatically. And we have also included the, the sections for the material uh, part of it. So if we have stock items on Acumatica, we are also going to see them on Beam. And, and you see there on the slide uh, that Beam is also now uh, certified by Acumatica. So uh, here in this video, we show uh, how, how the integration works, uh, what you can do. Okay. So for example, when you log into Acumatica, you'll see that uh, there, are, there are different tabs right, uh, that, that you can go over, but there is one in particular, uh, the finance tab that includes all of the fixed assets. So if we have here the list and we were to include one more asset here on Acumatica, um, and you know, you'll see that I'll be creating and, and filling out all of these information that what we type in here is gonna be transferred to Beam and we can use these asset within our maintenance operations. So uh, you see here that uh, I'm just filling out the, the mandatory fields, not every single one of them, um, just the ones with the star at the beginning. And uh, if we save it here, thanks to the uh, Windows test scheduler uh, within, uh, within, our, within our system, uh, we're gonna be able to uh, fully integrate uh, these, these two systems, okay? So you see at the bottom that last item we created, and you see here that this information is going to be updated every few seconds. So if I now were to log into Beam, uh, we would be able to see those changes. Okay. 
So for example, you see here, if I refresh all of the assets, there is one more that has been added to the system. Um, that's the, the asset 19 uh, that you see on top. And when I was mentioning before that the, that the information goes both ways, um, that means that if we make a change in here within Beam, we can also see those changes within Acumatica. So that's what uh, the, the video shows uh, right now. You can go back and, and make sure, okay, that um, if we refresh the page, that that item has been changed uh, and we see that the description changed, okay? And the, the other section that was included, uh, you know, uh, so far within the integration part of it is the stock item section. So again, if, if we were to take a look at the, the inventory in here, uh, we can look for, for a computer in this case. Uh, we can see how many, how many uh, items we have on each location, each warehouse. And uh, if we go to Beam, to the inventory uh, management module, then we'll be able to see, again, uh, those, those two transactions, okay? So what I'm doing right now is just filtering the, the information you have to do for Acumatica, basically, that's our demo environment. Um, so you see that we have up there those, uh, those two entries uh, with the two different warehouses and the input quantity right there. So that's basically how the, how the integration works. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just uh, show you a little bit more uh, in detail uh, Beam because the, the video only showed those two areas. Um, so this is going to be a very brief, um, very brief demo just to give you an idea of all the modules that we have and, and how easy it is to work with the product. But if uh, at the end of the meeting you're still interested, you know, and you want to uh, contact us, we can obviously uh, get back to you and have another meeting on Beam. So, for example, you see here that I've logged in with an admin user, and the first thing we're going to see is that um, we have this dashboard that is going to be customizable depending on the client and even depending on the user. So all of these um, all of this information can show either table lists, um, graphs, it can show KPIs, and it's going to be updated in real time. So you can you can use it, for example, to see how much money you've spent um, on maintenance or how many tickets have been created, or how many ones, how many tickets have been closed already, things like that. And here on the top left, we can access the main menu. Right now, uh, we have access to the four core modules, and we have access to the purchasing management module, and then the system settings. So for example, within the assets, um, in this case, if we are picking all of the information from Acumatica, we don't even have to start adding all of the assets in here. Um, so, you know, you can just see the complete list of assets that will be coming from Acumatica. And um, I'm just going to open one of them to, to show you how, how much information we can store in here. Because, you know, if for some reason we need to um, enter some more information just because we're going to be dealing with these uh, particular asset in terms of maintenance, for example, we could uh, go here and add a maintenance plan. To, to this track. So since this is a vehicle, we could select a, a vehicle maintenance plan in here. You know, we see that it has various steps and we would have to go over, you know, one by one um, and, and marking uh, the, these steps as done. Okay. And also we, we could be um, entering in here who is going to be responsible for maintaining these assets. So if we have different teams, different maintenance teams, we can select them here. Maybe we, we need to enter some instructions so we can take notes, we can upload documents, anything we need. And one very interesting thing about Beam is that it, al it allows us to take a look at the uh, graphical asset tree here, which basically uh, shows your company. Uh, this is a layout um, of the facility. We can obviously uh, be as specific as we want and add uh, more, more layouts for different rooms or different floors. And all of these green dots that you see on the screen are assets. If I hover over them, we see some information about them. Um, and also if I click on them, I can, for example, um, either create a ticket or create a, a work order. We can uh, show the history of the asset. Um, we can pull up information about it, anything we want. And if they are green, everything is okay. If they turn red, then there is an open work order. If they turn blue, 
there is someone working on a preventive maintenance work order, things like that. And for example, if we were to integrate uh, the system with RFID, we could see how the assets are moving around and maybe look for an asset in particular and it will pop up here on this screen. Um, and for example, if we just uh, quickly go through the maintenance management module, we see that we can, uh, we can create new tickets, we can enter information like, for example, um, which asset broke or we, we saw that there is something unusual with it. Uh, so we can select the priority, we can select the code, we can select, for example, the work type, maybe the failure code or the maintenance code. And once we create all of these tickets, then they're going to go either to, to a manager or to the maintenance team, depending on our workflow. And those people are going to start working uh, on this ticket and on solving these problems that we have. And just to show you an idea of how the... Um, uh, the, the reports work. I can open one of these uh, reports here in the system, for example, the asset maintenance history report. And we could, for example, go back uh, to the beginning of the year. Um, okay, until today, we can select either um, an asset in particular, or maybe a cost center, maybe a department, anything we want. Um, I'll select here in New York. I can click on prepare. And basically, within a couple of seconds, we get uh, we get this report with the list of assets, and for each asset, how many times it has been maintained. So, for example, this one has been maintained once, uh, once, once, twice. If we go to the next page, uh, many different times, uh, and you can see how much time actually and how much money you've spent on these maintenance operations. And so, we can make decisions, like for example, uh, maybe it's just time to get a new truck. In this case maybe because we have spent all this money on it and it's not worth it anymore. So we can, we can easily prepare these reports, we can schedule them, we can, we can say something like, I want these in PDF um, every, every Friday you know, at this time and I want to send it to all these people. So everyone is going to be getting an email. We literally forget about um, creating all of these reports and, and we just get them either on PDF or Excel, however we want to. And for example, we also have the, the material management module. We're going to be able to list all of our items in here in the system. We can have them grouped by category and also by location. And we could be uh, maybe, you know, if I show you uh, some more items, the list, make the list bigger. Uh, we could see that if maybe we have some, um, some items in this warehouse that are not available on this one, maybe we could create a transaction between those two warehouses and manage the workflow also on Beam. The personnel management module basically takes care of the resources. Like for example, if uh, we have different types of users in the system, we have to decide who is going to be a resource and who's not. So for example, the maintenance team who's going to be recording what they do, how much they spend on a particular ticket, uh, things like that, they need to be a resource also in the system because we're going to be tracking the time. If it's just going to be a user who is going to be here accessing some reports, then we might not need to create a resource associated with that user. And we also have, for example, the purchasing management module. We can create report requests. We can uh, take care of the whole process, you know, from the moment where we need, when we see that we need um, to make a new order um, to the point where we have to evaluate all of the offers that we get from different vendors. Um, maybe someone approves one, then we create the ticket or the purchase request. And then we finally receive all of those items and the inventory levels are updated. And then finally, the system settings basically um, shows how, how we can um, adjust the settings for the companies. We can create user groups, manage different authorizations and, and everything. Because, for example, uh, this is uh, one concern for every company that the information has to be secure. Uh, so, for example, with, with the integration with Acumatica, everything is encrypted. And uh, we, we allow different user groups or users to have access to different parts of the system. So maybe if I'm only working uh, as a team member within the maintenance team, I might only have access to the maintenance section and not to the personnel management section. So there are going to be many different sections and, uh, and items that we're going to be able to modify depending on our own authorizations. So that's, that's basically the overview of theme. Um, I'm going to go to the Q&A session. 
And if you have any questions uh, now or you know later, you can type them on the chat box and we can address them one by one. Thank you, Roger. And thank you, ETR. Much appreciated. It's been pretty uh, informative, uh, great insights. Uh, thank you. Uh, we talk about um, Acumetica, we talk about digital transformation, um, manufacturing 4.0, and uh, we talk about BEAM, uh, enterprise assets, maintenance, facility, and energy management software. So uh, we have covered a lot in, I think, uh, about uh, 40 minutes. So let's talk about, um, let's address some questions. So uh, as you see on the screen, you can see our contact information. And for future reference, you can always contact us via phone. Uh, or email, so feel free to do so. Uh, one of the questions that uh, we receive is about a mobile app uh, of Beam. Uh, is there a mobile app available for uh, for Beam uh, to use uh, its functionality? Yes, Akimarika and Beam both have a mobile application, so we can manage everything really uh, from the approvals or we can enter information. Um, in the case of Beam, for example, it's really interesting because uh, the maintenance team um, typically are not going to be on an office setting. So if you just need to be out in the field, maybe you need to order uh, or reserve some spare parts from the inventory, you can easily do it from your phone. You can maybe pull up the instructions, like all the steps that you have to go through when maintaining a machine, and you can do it everything from your phone. Uh, so, you know, that's that's obviously saving a lot of time and also it works offline. So if for some reason you don't have internet connection at some point, uh, the, the data will be saved and synchronized once you're uh, connected again. Thank you, Tia. Um, I have another question. I think it's partially for Roger. Uh, uh, can Acumetica be used in any industry or it's specialized in... Uh, certain industries. I think this question is for both Acumatica and Beam. Um, uh, Roger, what would you say? Yeah, that's a very good question. Acumatica can be used in any industry, basically. Uh, there are versions of Acumatica for manufacturing, distribution, field service, or it could just be financial. Because the way how Acumatica is licensed, you could license it by suite. So if you're just a financial-based company, you could have the financials. If you're mainly a manufacturing, then you could get the manufacturing edition of it. But it can be used across any sector. Thank you, Roger. And the other part of the question is I think I can address is for Beam. Uh, Beam can be used in uh, many different industries, manufacturing, facility uh, management, uh, industry, property management industry, um, hospitality. So any industry that has um, uh, has assets, cars, trucks, machinery, equipment, buildings that needs to be uh, managed, tracked, and maintained, uh, they can use uh, BEAM. So BEAM has many different industries and many different references in different industries, manufacturing, uh, hospitality, facility management, and then we say manufacturing could be process management or discrete mani manufacturing uh, or process manufacturing. It really uh, doesn't uh, matter because as long as we have assets, that, then, then BEAM can be uh, can be very uh, very helpful. And um, it's, uh, it's good that uh, BEAM is also uh, certified by Acumetica, so it also works perfectly with Acumetica in any integration. Um, ETR presented various uh, examples of how, how the integration works uh, and that integrations can be extended to uh, different fields, different parts of uh, Acumetic and team uh, based on the project. So we have that, uh, that flexibility uh, depending upon the, uh, the, the project and its, uh, its requirements, basically. So that is uh, definitely uh, good to know. And certification makes it official that uh, BEAM works uh, just fine with, uh, with Acumetica. Uh, let me see if I have uh, any other uh, questions. So uh, another one is, uh, can Beam be integrated with any quality management software uh, to uh, manage the quality operations in association with the maintenance operations? Um, I think, uh, yeah, I will say partially, maybe it here can address also partially. Uh, well, as long as there's web service APIs available, uh, Beam can be integrated with any uh, software, simply. Um, 
So this can also be a, a, a cloud management software, which is not a problem for us, uh, right? If here, am I correct in technical, technical sense. sense? Yeah, as long as um, we can make that integration, uh, you know, companies can can both benefit from a quality management system and a maintenance um, and asset management system. So, for example, Akimatica right now. Um, is working with Beam. Uh, we are also working on the certification process for QDMS, which is our quality management system. And uh, both of them will be accessible and, and fully integrated with Akimatica soon. Thank you, Itir. Uh, I believe uh, Roger addressed uh, this point. Um, Akimatica works only on cloud or on-premise servers as well. I believe Roger addressed it, but I'll just double check it with you. Roger. No, Akimatica can, can work on-premise in the cloud, in the data center, anywhere you want. It's totally up to you, the customer, to decide where you want it. There's no restrictions. Of course, it's best, we always recommend the cloud, but uh, there are certain industries that need to have their ERP on-premise and Acumatica can be deployed there. I understand. Yes, I mean, definitely cloud is the future and Acumatica is positioned there uh, perfectly. So it makes a lot of sense to, to be on cloud. But what you are saying is that as an option, it also works on on-premise servers as well. That's what I understand. And it's the it's same for, for Beam as well. The Beam, Beam works on on-premise servers, on cloud as well. So it, it, it is ready to uh, company Acumatica in any, uh, any project. Um, uh, so uh, before we uh, close the session, uh, Roger, would you like to add anything as uh, final remarks? Sure, I'd like to say, I mean, this was a very abbreviated uh, presentation of both Beam and Acumatica. I would encourage everyone, if they would like to see full demonstration of both products, you know, to contact us. It's, I, it's we are really excited about the integration here. Um, it tends to extend what the capabilities are of Acumatica and Beam. Um, next up, we would have the QDMS, so we'll have a whole suite around the Acumatica platform and any other ERP per se that accept uh, web services. So, you know, I would, again, just extend my contact information is on the screen. So is Kevin and Ikea, you know, please contact us. We really would do a one-on-one -on, -one on any of the products there that we displayed. Thank you. Thank you, Roger. And Itir, any final notes that you'd like to share with our audience? Yeah, so in fact, uh, Kevin at the beginning of the presentation showed that we uh, we work with four different products, EBA, Beam, QDMS, and Ensemble. And if you just want to take a pick, uh, maybe get a little bit more information about those products before contacting us, there are many, many videos available on YouTube. Uh, so if you go to our YouTube channel, uh, Binsor International, you'll be able to see a video series for each and one of our products. Thank you, Itier. Uh, well, I think this is uh, the end of our uh, webinar. Uh, thank you very much for your time. And uh, uh, thank you for our uh, thank you to our uh, speakers in our panel. It's been very informative and uh, great demonstrations. I appreciate it. And thank you for joining uh, our webinar today. Thank you for your time and interest. Uh, on the screen, uh, just a quick reminder that we have our con contact information. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions and if you'd like to uh, continue this conversation. We'll be happy to uh, address your questions that may that you may have. Uh, and uh, we have also coming uh, webinars, again, with Acumetica uh, and Beam integration will be addressed in coming uh, webinars uh, scheduled in January. Uh, uh, in addition, uh, we have uh, another product called QDMS for quality risk and compliance management that's also integrated with, with Beam. And it's also in certification process at the moment with uh, Team Acumetica, and it'll be also certified soon. So uh, we look forward to seeing you in our coming webinars. Uh, thank you for your time uh, and interest. Have a nice day. Thank you.